What's up guys? How you doing? Oh my god. I'm here at IHOP. We just had a beautiful meal. Me and that lady over there. That lady over there. Look at this beautiful car, man. But listen, I mean, today's video, it's gonna be a one shot. I'm not gonna edit, you know, all those kind of stuff. But, you know, I wanna talk about mindset, man. A lot of people have that weak mindset. Let me fix this camera angle. I want Amani to be in the shot because I want her to hear as well, right? Maybe she has, like, she wants to contribute her two cents to this video. All right, listen. Mindset, man. A lot of people complain about not accomplishing enough, right? They complain. They say life is not fair. They, they talk about luck. Dude, what are you talking about? There's nothing called luck, right? You position yourself in situations where, you know, you get opportunities and then you can grab on those opportunities. Some people call this luck. I call it hard work. Strategically putting yourself in different situations where good things will happen to you, right? But something else, you know, a lot of people and, you know, recently not recently maybe like a couple months ago i did maybe like 10 episodes where i talked about your time spending habits all right a lot of people talk about your money spending habits which dude it doesn't make sense right old school but time spending habits a lot of people don't understand or don't pay attention where they are spending their time and are they really spending time to contribute towards their goals, you know? So listen, if you're interested, I wanna, I wanna do that session again for my people on, you know, social media like Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, right? It's not Anklex related, it's life related, right? So I wanna talk about time spending habits. I wanna give you two exercises. So if you're someone who is chasing success, dude, if you're not managing your time the right way, you can't, you can't get to your goals. So I, I wanna give you two exercises. I implemented those two exercises and dude, they changed my life, the whole trajectory of where I'm going, right? And I wanna give you a couple of podcasts to listen to. It's gonna blow your mind away, right? So stay tuned. I'll do, I'll invite you, like I'll send you a link um, and I'll invite you to a private session you know I always do it on the business side but I want to do it for the people right I want you to figure out how you can manage your life how you can spend more time with your spouse and still make money and still be successful how you can spend more time with your kids and still be successful you know all this kind of stuff dude it's kind of blow your mind away but again dude mindset man mindset a lot of people are not so so there's a difference between complaining like running your mouth talking right and between people who execute you know a lot of people say hey if i got this you know i i always had this idea but i never executed on it dude i could have been a millionaire execution right execution if you keep running your mouth coming up with ideas saying i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that but you do not start and you keep complaining you keep putting excuses like i don't have the money i don't have the time i don't have i don't have the energy oh i'm sick i've got flu like a the other day she had she, like she, 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 you were running you were running a fever or you just had flu no, um, like malaise so so she she was she had malaise you know flu she wasn't feeling good right she could have easily slept the whole day, you know? She didn't do that. She took the kids to their activities. She, she helped me with my business. Um, she helped some of my students, you know, reply to, to questions. Um, she went and did grocery shopping on that day. So she went far and beyond. What does that do? Dude, if, you're, if, if your uh, tolerance is on that level and when you get sick, Instead of your tolerance going down, if you keep your tolerance the same way, the same level when you're sick, dude, when you get healthy, you operate at a higher level. 
So if you're here at 40%, the next time you're gonna operate at 41%. And it is because you punched through that, you know, obstacle or through that, uh, what do you call it? Through that obstacle, right? You, you, you thought that you're done, your, your tank is empty, like you can't do any more, but then you push through that wall. Oops, yeah. So you push through that wall and you got it done. Dude, that's the difference between winners and people who complain. Are you getting shit done? If you're not getting shit done, man, stop freaking complaining, right? Stop freaking complaining. A lot of people put in the work but they don't know the right resources or the right path. And that's when, you know, um, self-education and professional development comes into place. You know, a lot of people, you know, schools did not prepare us for the real world. Unless you've got a profession, right? Like a profession, let's say you're a nurse, you're a doctor, then you can get a nine to five job. But if you are an entrepreneur, or you are you're into sales or you're into marketing and you went you went for you went to school for that school does not prepare you to to make money in real life right uh, what it prepares you is for a 9 to 5 job which 80% of people would settle for that but it, they would settle for a 9 to 5 but they will keep dreaming they will say oh my god if i had a million bucks oh my god if i had a ferrari oh my god if if I was financially free, right? But they don't act towards that goal. And they just settle with a nine to five because they feel that it gives them that job security. You've got insurance, you've got, uh, you know, like a salary every single month, you know, whatever the case might be. So mindset, if you, if like toughen up a little bit and push into like, Ed Milet talks about, you know, maxing out. So like one more rep. So let's say you go to the gym, you're doing bench press and you did 10 reps. He'll tell you like, push one more rep, like, like get 11, right? So same thing with entrepreneurship. Uh, let's say you're working, you're done, you feel exhausted, like you wanna go to sleep and you'll say, you know what? Let me make that one more call or send one more email or put on one more ad, right? So that's what differentiates people who make it, you know, get financially free and people who don't. And dude, um, it's going that extra mile, right? Just one more rep. You know, Andy Frisilla talks about, you know, when your brain says, I'm done, I'm exhausted, that's the time when you're only using 40% of your endurance like 40% of your endurance or your potential. But if you push through that, if you just push through that 40%, you can open up the rest of the 60%, right? Which is mind blowing. The power of the mind, man, is everything. If I would have settled and said, hey Mo, like this immigration thing is not happening, you know, there's a lot of delay. Let me just settle down back home and, you know, get a mortgage, buy a house, buy a car, you know, installments, whatever. And then I would say, uh, I'll just raise my kids and settle down, settle down. Dude, I would have not been where I am today, right? So it's you creating opportunity for yourself. I know this video has been all over the place. We've been like nine minutes in, so I'm gonna shut up and let you think a little bit about it. You know, let it sink in, um, just do more. and. Again, if you're interested in that session, um, I'll post it on social media, so stay tuned um, on my Instagram stories. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram stories. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And if anyone has that entrepreneur spirit in them, right? Has, you wanna start a business, you don't know from where to start. Listen, I've got a course that's gonna blow your mind away. It's called the gateway to online success, right? If you wanna open a retail store, like go get a franchise Starbucks and open a store, dude, go for it. It's gonna cost you like $250,000 to start up. But if you wanna start something online from scratch, I've got zillion ideas for you. All you have to do is buy my course. Yes, I said buy, yes, but I'm selling you my course, $149, but it will open 
up uh, dimensions in your brain you never thought it existed because you don't know right so there's there's i mean th this is a different topic but there are two types of schools you know one school which is the traditional learning we've got that back home right it's it's in every country and then there's a different school there's another school which is how to make millionaires right you know our parents didn't know about that school you know the governments they don't they don't show you they don't advertise for that school but there's a school of how to be a millionaire and it's a start get my course 149 dollars dude i'll teach you everything i did from the time i had um a phone and a laptop zero dollars do you remember those days amani do you remember those days when we when we were earning like fifty thousand a year living off fifty thousand a year paying taxes you know when, when you say annual income of fifty thousand that's not without you even paying your taxes but when you pay your taxes that's way lower right but anyways if you want to settle for 50 60 70 thousand a year dude good for you but if you want to make millions start with my course 149 dollars it will blow your mind away and you can literally start a million dollar business of that 149 dollar course all right love your face see you next time